Hey, welcome back to the Neon Nightcast Podcast. We only play smooth jazz for two six. Yeah. That's keeping you company on the night shift. This is my new radio voice. I am Michael Frax, and I'm joined by Garrett Zagri and Eric the Doctor Soybean. Guys, we should do ASMR videos. Yo, AS, a, ASMR videos are appearing on Pornhub. It's not uh, surprising. And, like, I, I watched a few and I was waiting for the girl to uh, get naked. And then she never got naked. Oh. Okay, that's kind of surprising that they wouldn't get naked. It's to do literally it. just ASMR. That's I've basic. I don't know what you guys feel about them. I find them fucking like cringy and disgusting as fuck. I hate hearing the little like mouth snapping sounds and shit. Okay. It actually grosses me out. So I remember one time I was watching ASMR videos on or ASMR people on Twitch with uh, a friend of the channel, Julie. You can see her on <laughs> the movie club on this channel. And, um, yeah, like, for me, it was like, we were watching a few, and it was just like, the girl was so pretty, and her voice was so nice that I was getting, like, sucked into it, but, like, after 20 minutes, I was just like, why am I watching this? This is, this is dumb. The one that, um... The one that I remember most when I first heard about it, I looked up a bunch of videos to see what it was. Yeah. And it was some chick dressed as the cowardly lion from Wizard of Oz doing like a 40-minute routine about that. And it was all like, oh, animals don't talk in your world? I couldn't talk. And I was just like, who the <laughs> fuck is going on? this? Uh, that's actually really funny. Who's, like, who's yeah. that into like the Wizard of Oz or like the lion from the Wizard of Oz? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I just feel like there's something better I'd rather listen to or if I'm just watching it for the girls. I would much rather just... I mean, see, even that, uh, I don't just watch things like that. It just doesn't entertain me enough to keep my interest. Well, okay, if I want to look at girls, I'll look at Instagram or Pornhub. And if I'm going to watch something on Twitch, I'm going to, like, watch someone play a video game, guy or girl. But, like, ASMR, yeah. like, the ear porn thing, it just doesn't do anything. It doesn't do, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Seems like one of those things, though, that it has its whole, like, audience. And I think it all started when people would point out things like... You would see things like people would post that scene from Family Guy where Peter where Peter's on the radio and he's sipping the coffee and eating the fucking biscuit, and there'd be people like, "Oh, this actually sounds really good." You know what I mean? Yeah. I just I remember when we were watching it, uh, she's like putting a water bottle and like crinkling it to it, and then people were like, "Oh, do the do the bag of chips again? Oh, please, bag of chips." <laughs> And she's just like crinkling it into the microphone. Anyways, we have a yeah. we have a spicy, spicy show. A lot of topics. Spicy. A lot of topics that we can give our ignorant, uh, stupid opinions, opinions on. on. Yeah. yeah. Because what? Because it really holds no value except to us and us alone. Yeah, like this podcast went from like us being like, I like Jurassic Park to. I don't think women should vote. I mean, <laughs> I don't think it's gone that far. <laughs> what are you talking about? That was an over an exaggeration of a joke. Oh. I'm saying now we are very, like, political, very opinionated of pretty spicy topics. So let's let's get right into it, right? Let's do it. Uh, it's like you're shaking out a little turd. Well, let's get to it. Did we talk about this last time? But I feel like we could talk about it more. But who? Sorry, what was the, the guy? The man who was fired over his tweets from Marvel? Uh, Gun. What was his name? Something Gun. Yeah, uh, yeah something like that. All right, I'm waiting. Garrett's gonna do a quick Gun research. Guardians of the Galaxy. James Gunn. James Gunn. Okay, so he was he was fired for tweets. And these were tweets from a long time ago. 
And a lot of these tweets were centered around the joke or, or making a joke of pedophilia. Let's just say that for a generic term. It was a lot of little boy sex, whatever. Yeah, they were just like outrageous. They were outrageous tweets. jokes. Yeah. Now, another famous person who is the head of a TV show. Uh, Dan Harmon. Dan Harmon. Oh, I was going to say what he did before. He, anyways, Dan Harmon. It came out that he Bye. had. That's just how I talk. <laughs> Dan Harmon. Uh. They, people found like an old pilot he did or something uh, or like a sketch comedy where he's literally fucking the the a, a, a toy of a baby what's what's hilarious about that is how the is how the Rick and Morty fans and like if you guys have been following us for a while we did a podcast on Rick and Morty probably around a year ago and we all liked it but it's one of those things where, like, I try not to let people ruin things for me. Yeah. But the fans of that show are just so fucking obnoxious that they've actually ruined it for me. I feel like they've and died down for the most part, though. It's gonna they have back. they have a they have a bit, but but they defended that by like, I mean, it's one thing to defend that to just be like, oh, like you know, it's just some ridiculous fucking joke. But they what did the they tried to claim it was like highbrow humor or something like that? You, like, yeah. you had to be intelligent <laughs> and, to understand. Yeah, and, and like, like shut up, Dan, Dan Harmon pretending to fuck a doll. Dan, Dan Harmon is a comedic genius, and if you don't get it, you're just not smart. But this is like worse than like tweets, right? This is like a video of him doing sexual acts to a toy of a baby so why why why, where is his why is not he not being fired one i think because he works for cartoon network and cartoon network i feel like is much more um forgiving in this sense i mean yeah it's stupid and he even said it was stupid dan Harmon said it was stupid and you know immature at the time um but like he works for cartoon network and cartoon network's well, not Cartoon Network, sorry, that's wrong. Adult Swim. He works for Adult Swim. Mm -hmm. And Adult Swim is like... They they made their name off of like stupid shit like this. I mean, nothing this outrageous. Like baby fucking. Or yeah. not baby fucking. Baby doll fucking. Yeah. But, I mean, they're just not in the limelight like Disney is with James Gunn. I still don't think James Gunn should have got fired. I don't think uh, Dan Harmon should have gotten fired. But that that's my thoughts on why he why gun did and Harmon didn't something i have heard is people being like well a lot of these liberals like dan Harmon a lot because he fired his entire writing staff and replaced it with all women so powerful but uh, again that doesn't that doesn't like if... more women in comedy Shut <laughs> up. I'm doing like a, an actual yeah. it's an auditory clap emoticon. Start listening to trans women. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we, we got it, Eric. Um, but you, you, it's still, it's not comparable to James Gunn. I mean, James, what, what, James Gunn like fucking made jokes in the same amount of time ago. Like, yeah, Dan Hart made this video in 2009. I'm pretty sure James or yeah, James Gunn's tweets were from around that same time period. Yeah. So I mean, I'm just saying yeah, if, it's just if, stupid. If if one's gonna get fired, the other one should. And no, no, that's not and, true. And, though. And, and was 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 Twitter companies. was Twitter upset about James Gunn when they were post? Uh, that's what I'm assuming was what happened. Is what everyone got all up in a huffy, and he was getting blasted on Twitter because of his tweets. And I guarantee you, people aren't doing the same thing, being as outraged with Dan Harmon, just because he's the he's the creator I think more people, of, of, of Rick and Morty. Yeah, but dude, a lot I of people. I think more people are outraged that James Gunn is fired than that he is not fired. True. People love that guy. Bugs love their superhero stuff. Bugs or bugs. Eric, you can't use these fucking four chan terms and expect everyone to understand. You guys don't know what bug men are. Explain for those that don't, Eric. Okay, I'll I'll read you the uh what the fuck? What? Uh, I was gonna read you the urban dictionary uh definition of it, but their site is all effed up. What is with the internet today? I, I don't know. Maybe your internet is just fucked up. Um anyways. 
It's uh, basically a bug man is your typical uh, lives in a big city, left leaning, but obsessed with computer with uh, consumerism. Buys like the type of person who will like line up to buy a new iPhone. Loves like all mainstream right, right, media right. stuff, like superhero movies and Star Wars and all that shit. They're they're they call them bug men. Yeah, but anyways, you digress. Um, <laughs> Did you have to say that for him, Mike. <laughs> I, so that was kind of what it was sounded like he was gonna say. Uh, just quick little. Un- I just no- noticed this while I was looking. Um, we're down to 34 subscribers. Down? Yeah. What do you mean down? I thought we were up to 40. Mm, last I heard, we were 34. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. You're doing a skit. No, I, I really thought I really thought in my in my head we had 40. My bad. No, we never hit 40. Well, we're at 34 subscribers, so woo! Let's get let's keep that... Keep that subscriber train. This is a very running. weird tangent you went on. I think I'm in a weird ass mood today. I don't know. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, viewers. I also got my new radio voice. Can you hear me whisper? Okay, let's just ear? come on. Let's go, Mike. Sorry, I'm reading. Okay, let's talk about. Hey, we're we're talking about kind of like pedophilia stuff. Let's talk about some Pennsylvania priests. Ooh, the the Pennsylvania priest abuse, sexual abuse. Yeah, that, lead us. Uh, Three hundred priests were credibly accused of sexual abusing more than one thousand child victims. How do you guys? How do you guys like them apples? Did you hear about that, Eric? I didn't hear about that. I mean, it doesn't shock me that uh, those yeah. people are perverts, but I mean, I would need to do more research on this. But I have, I've heard from some pretty credible sources that the number basically if you can like in the in the west obviously there's more catholic priests than uh jewish rabbis or muslim imams but if you compare the number of rabbis and the number of imams accused of sexually assaulting kids it's the same in proportion to their population as it is catholic priests we Mm. just hear about the catholic priests more because there's a lot more of them imams I'm more of a I dad. Ha 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 ha. But yeah, no, that doesn't show me at all. <laughs> um, so what, yeah, what you're over, saying like is... seventy years. Eric, Go ahead, Mike. Oh, sorry. I was just Eric. What you're saying is that all people in religious powers molest children. No, what I'm saying is that this seems to be a common problem among people in. Uh, religious powers and and uh, celebrities as well. Interesting. It's almost like people with power really, uh, really uh, end up abusing it. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's true for almost everyone. Gary, yeah, you, Gary, you grew up uh, religious. Did you have any uh, run-ins with a? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> any back alley stories? Hey, man. Father Jim will come find me if I tell you about this shit. Oh shit! No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking, of course. Um, no, it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> he said that so seriously. <laughs> um, no, I never had anything like this. The priests I experienced were all like super great and like like really focused on making us better people, yeah. which is it, it does shine a bad light on Catholic priests. But I mean, whenever this many priests are accused of sexual abuse i'm more curious whether like are the good ones more rare or are the sexual abusers more rare because like i think this was like 20 percent because this all happened in uh, the diocese like in pennsylvania and across there i think eight dioceses um and it was like 20 percent of the priests that were there i mean granted this was over 70 years and most of the priests that were uh found were either retired dead? yeah we're either dead or retired um but i i don't know if because i was talking to uh fr- some friends and i was like what would what, what do you think that would make this better like how how would priests how how would you go about uh making it to where you know priests are less inclined to uh diddle children 
Well, and I, 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 one thing we came up with was just like allowing Catholic priests to be married would be a huge thing because yeah, um, in some of the cases, <clears throat> there. Um, I mean, obviously, a wife doesn't fix pedophilia. Yeah, but um, allowing you know like priests to get married. Because in that, well, in some of the cases, it was actually um, some of the priests, the the, the non pedophile priests knew about the pedo priests, but the pedo priests knew that the non pedo priests had you know broken their vow of celibacy, had gone out and you know had sexual encounters with other with women and whatnot. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it was like almost a form of blackmail, I guess, to keep okay them quiet. Okay, now. So, yes, would, yeah. Uh, no, words? okay, <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to put this to words. It because it, we talked about this before and how they say that pedophilia is not a choice; it's like a, a disease or something wrong with someone's brain. Are these priests resorting to pedophilia because they? Because of just like loneliness, or are they just all actually pedophiles? Nah, see, I I never buy into this whole thing where it's like you know, oh, all pedophiles just have a mental disorder. Uh, I think that I think that like most things in life, there's different things that are true for different people. I think maybe you can point to some people where there's legitimately something wrong with their brain. But I keep going back to the statistic. And the statistic is, if you look it up, there are very few pedophiles who are exclusive to children. Most of them have relationships with adults as well. So, I I mean, you can't say that's something wrong with their brain that makes them only be attracted to children if they're also But there is something adults. wrong that attracts them to children. Yes, but I don't necessarily believe it's something they're born with. Yeah. I think, mm-hmm. like, maybe they just get, like, twisted, or whether it's lack of access to adult women or, or, or adult men if they're gay. Because I guess, like, most of these are probably gay pedophiles because they're going for, for boys. I don't ma- imagine they get much access to girls because it's all the alter, altar boy thing, right? Yeah. So, I mean, most uh, of them are... I mean, so, the priests also rape young women. And girls, but I feel like in that case, it's more common that that the victims are are male. I would imagine. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Yeah, I, I don't know the ratio. But um, where the fuck was I going with this? Yeah, I don't know. I I just don't believe. I don't believe it's necessarily something that people are born with. I think maybe sometimes situations in their life can twist them. Like one thing they say is that a lot of people who 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 were who are pedophiles were themselves victims of pedophilia when when they were kids. Hmm. So that probably has you know something to do with it as well. Okay. So my 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 thought is, let them date, let them get married, and if some are still doing the pedophile stuff, well then they're just pedophiles. Yeah, but <laughs> realistically, the Catholic Church I don't think would ever take the vow celibacy away from the their clergymen they need to and people need people need to be fighting for this listen the catholic church the number one like the biggest tenant about the catholic church is tradition they will not break tradition well i mean all religion is is like that except for like you know stuff like unitarians and things like that but yeah uh, i I mean but like the catholics are they, they take pride in like being super traditional like to the point where I, I can't remember exactly, but like they follow Jewish traditions during like even during Lent, they only sing in Latin, or at least they did in my church. Yeah. My church was like a pretty small church. Like it, it's I don't know. But it's like, all about tradition there, and uh, the tradition is to rape little boys and girls. I guess this, is, but this is such a like a insane, harsh, and just disgusting thing that's going on within the church you think they'd be talking about like how do we fix this problem but see like they cover it up this happened over 70 years and we're just now hearing about it 
Like if if you if you're a fucking priest and you like steal well, money from the church, they'll they'll use all their power to get you uh, yeah. prosecuted. But if you're a child diddler, ah, uh, we'll help but, you out. You know. But it, it, no, I was just gonna say, in, in fairness to that, you said for seven years they've been covering it up. Well, even if you go back twenty five years ago, most pedophilic stuff everywhere was kind of swept under the rug. Back in the uh, it wasn't until the 90s, late 90s even, that they really started giving harsh sentences to child molesters because prior to that, the thought was that the experience of having to go into court and testify would be more traumatizing to the kid than the actual assault itself. So because they couldn't get testimony from the victim, uh, the basic way they did it is they would tell the, the guy who was convicted, they'd be like, you have to stay the fuck away from this kid forever. They'd send him to, to jail for like a month, and then they would people would just try to forget about it. Ha. Huh. <laughs> That's so weird. I I don't I, mean, I don't even know what to say to I, that. See, I'm just skeptical that that even happened, that that's real. Oh, look. Well, I'm, I'm look it up. It's in like uh, I'm getting this specifically from uh, there's this crime book I have called uh, Kids Kids Who oh, Kill. What you believe and everything that's written in a book, Eric? No, but it, it, <laughs> it, it this book came out in 1990, and it's case files from the 70s and 80s of basically it's it's all like legitimate case files and court documents of of kids who for whatever reason killed people either other kids or adults and there's a whole section in there on kids who killed somebody who was molesting them and they talk about that in there they talk about how uh that was the thinking of the time yeah well i don't want to say anymore i also well, you have to, to say hell you have to realize like people don't understand that like like, when we have laws the way they are now, right, there's this tendency to, because that's the way the culture is now, we believe that's how it's always been. But that's not the case. You look at drunk driving, okay? Yeah. Because, because like, now, if you're, if you're driving drunk and you run somebody over and you, and you kill them, you're probably going to jail for anywhere from, like, 5 to 15 years, okay? Yeah. Back then, the fact that you were shit-faced was seen as like in your favor because it's like, oh, he was shit faced. He didn't really realize yeah. what he was doing. And you would actually get away with sometimes under a year. Yeah, I remember also, also stalking, uh like stalking somebody like now, if somebody like is calling you repeatedly and harassing you, you know, you can get a restraining order put on them. They can actually serve jail time for that. That's a relatively recent thing too. In the in the eighties and nineties, if somebody was stalking you Unless they actually like threatened to do you harm, they would literally just tell you like, "Well, there's nothing we can do. There's no law against that." Yeah. Well, I, I remember Mad being so big and like all over TV and coming to our school, like Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Uh, yeah. Did you ever have Dare? I think Dare might just been the U.S. I think that was just a U.S. thing. Like I've heard of it through media, but uh, we definitely had stuff like that come to our yeah. school and be like don't do drugs you can be cool they, like us they dared you to do drugs I don't no. it's like hey what are you a bitch you a pussy i dare you to do this cocaine they dare sorry i turned into alex jones there but uh yeah they would dare you to do drugs in school no. it was actually a huge failure what do you mean <laughs> what the dare. dare, Mike. It was a program <laughs> where like they would have uh no, I yeah, the cops, Garrett or uh yeah, they would have cops or like some other like law enforcement come in and basically tell you uh give like really the worst propaganda you can about drugs. Mm -hmm. And well, you um could, you could you could find like videos of like the eighties of like I think it's even Ronald Reagan or something just saying that like marijuana is the, or maybe it's the fifties or something, but marijuana is the worst drug you can do. Well, well no, like, that was more of like a fifties thing with that. Yeah. Cause like Nixon, Nixon, like 
they knew the White House knew in like the fifties and sixties that marijuana was like wasn't like a super hardcore drug, but basically only Mexicans use marijuana. So they said marijuana is bad and marijuana leads to aggression and all this other bullshit basically to sow racism against uh Hispanics. Did you see that BuzzFeed video, Garrett? Um, no. Where Mary Not- marijuana is a racist term. Um, I mean, I think it actually is, but I, it's become so modernized that the definition and like the origin, I think, have been overlooked. And now it's oh, just... but guys, you don't understand. Some SJW with purple hair wants you to stop saying it, so you gotta listen. So what do we say, weed? Because I feel like <laughs> weed is pretty fucking racist too. What was um, weed racist towards? Like I was feel like towards black people, but I don't. 80s, I really don't. In think the eighties. Well, actually, you want to know what's weird about that is uh, back in like the day, like I'm talking like early 20th century, weed was slang for tobacco. And how I know that is there's actually this old goofy cartoon where he's trying to quit smoking like cigarettes. And eventually he like breaks down and he's got to go find some tobacco. And he goes up to some guy and he's like, you got any weed? And people are like, oh, he's asking for weed. But it was like, no, it's <laughs> meant to back me back then. It's goofy, man. He wants to get a high. Yeah. Fuck, <laughs> oh, man. That shit. <laughs> Whatever. No, dude, Even I used to be like, I've talked about this on the channel before, but I used to smoke weed. Like, pretty much from the time I was 17 till I was 28, I smoked weed every single day. Yeah. Uh, and even when I was like that, I used to get annoyed at people who would be like, you know, Weed is so fucking funny. Yeah, no, I I told you, Eric, on the phone the other day that I think one of the main reasons why I never did smoke weed was because when my friends got into it, they were so incredibly lame about it. They it was cool. They had to be so like hush hush, like we're so hardcore, we're into illegal stuff about it. They thought it yeah. was funny. They thought they were. They really thought they. Uh, There's some of the, a few of them really thought they were like worldly because they smoked weed. And it's like, what you, you sat in a basement, dude. Like you're not. You don't have more real world ex- experiences than I do because you I, because you smoked a little grass. I've just like reached a greater understanding with nature and myself. <laughs> Uh, you know, let's let's <laughs> move on. It gets you closer to nature, man. Uh, we have Asia Argento. Yeah, let's, Argento. let's talk about that. Yeah, I know Eric's going to love to talk about I, this shit. Michael so Thrax she, has no idea what this is. So Go. she was the she was the woman who blew the whistle on uh, Harvey Weinstein, Ooh, which Harvey of course Weinstein. needed to be done. It needed like, to be done, and this Harvey Peter Weinstein is a, a rapist. I almost said racist and pedophile, but those neither one of those. Well, they might be true, but he's definitely uh, a rapist. Supposedly, he did shit. I wouldn't quite go pedophile, but he supposedly did shit with chicks who were in their teens. So, mm-hmm. um, anyways, so so what's come out now is that she fucked a seventeen-year-old and then paid him to keep quiet. Um, oh. And some people are saying that because. Oh. Of, some people are Shut saying up. that because of this, this delegitimizes the whole movement. Uh, all I think this proves is that what I've been saying for a long time is that half of all people in Hollywood are filthy perverts. Yeah. But it doesn't delegitimize, like because because if she's also a pervert, that doesn't make him not a pervert. Yeah. No. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to use the so, argument that it, oh, because she did it too, it. it that that's completely illogical. That doesn't make any sense, right? She's and I, I mean, exactly like what you said, she's a pervert and he's a pervert. I mean, we spent we spent fifteen minutes talking about you know the Catholic priests and their culture. Like, why does nobody fucking call out? Like, let's call it like it is. There is a huge problem in Hollywood with perverts and pedophiles, and it's been an open secret for decades. And oh, yeah, even it's now, just because of the, the power position. Right. They have yeah. so much power, but, but, you know, they're cool. They're celebrities. They drive... They're not, these aren't some priests who are backwards squares. You know, we can't call them out 
on this type of shit. And it's like, no, fuck that, man. And and the and the for what we're seeing, the women are just as bad as the men. Yeah. There's that chick who was in Smallville who was in a sex cult where she branded fucking her female victims. You can find pictures of uh, of Demi Moore when she was 19 making out with a guy who was like 14. And it's like, okay, 19 to 14, that's not that scandalous, but women mature physically faster than men. So if you look at these photos, it looks like an adult woman making out with a child. Yeah. And they're doing this publicly at a party and nobody cares. Like half of the people in that town, like they're fucking lobotomized or, lobotomized or something. And you even get weird shit like when Heath Slater overdosed and the, Mer the Olsen chick Heath found Ledger. his body. Yeah, overdose. The Olsen chick found his body. The first th thought isn't call the cops, call the ambulance. It's call his fucking agent. Like, they're all whacked out of their goddamn skull there. And somebody better fucking do something about it quick. But anyways, Whoa. to answer the original question, I don't I don't think that uh, her doing this shit somehow delegitimizes the no, people of course not. after Harvey Weinstein. That's just fucking stupid. Because, well, uh, yeah, the Me Too mo movement is a good cause that's just been hijacked by these assholes that want to use it for their own means. Yeah. Well, like every cause ever. But, but okay, uh, no, yeah. and like like you said, like we were, I, I think I was talking to Anita the other day, and uh, we were talking about, like, the Logan brothers and the one that took the... <laughs> the Logan? You mean the Paul brothers? The Paul brothers, sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know their fucking names, dude. Jake. You Paul should know their last name is Paul. Paul. <laughs> uh, the one that took the picture, the video in the suicide forest, and it's just like, oh, yeah. why did why did he think that was a good idea? Well, because he's, he's an was idiot. A, he was a child star, and he's just he they get desensitized he, to yeah, what's good and what's not. He doesn't live in like our reality, and I think a lot of these celebrities don't live. In in, right. in our reality, they just they, I, would, I would agree with they that. can They're do awful. what they want, or they used to be able to do what they want, and now it seems that things are changing, and man and women are both going to get called out for their perversions and uh, fuck ups and yeah. Whatever See, you call one them. of the reasons I wanted to bring this story up is because of uh, Rose McGowan, mm -hmm. who is also a huge personality in the me too movement but whenever this shit came out about asia argento she tweeted a couple things and one of them was none of us know the truth of the situation and i'm sure more will be revealed shut be up. gentle yeah okay and like, shut it's the just fuck like up. what and now you want not rushing to judgment <laughs> yeah exactly now you're like oh well, it's my friend so let's not you know rush to conclusions about what really happened yeah uh, and that when, when, and i mean she was probably jumping down the dude's throat i forget his right. name but jumping down the dude's, dude's throat exactly oh my friend's a pervert too well gotta defend her well as, yeah. as and as harsh as i can feel about a lot of these people um I do I do agree in the sense that there also is now the danger of like, oh, this chick said a guy touched her ass in 1987, let's crucify him. Like, there's a big difference between, you know, Harvey Weinstein has dozens of accusers. He's a, he's a, I believe he's even admitted himself now to a lot of this shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so I, I do think in every case, you should always like, you know, be looking for evidence and looking for an admission or looking for any proof. But then again, a lot of times in a lot of these situations, when the only witnesses to it are the person that it happened to and the person who did it, it's one person's word against the other. You know, they they say you were inappropriate with them. How the fuck do they prove that? They can't. You say that they, that you weren't inappropriate with them. How the fuck do you prove that? You can't. Yeah, yeah. I know that um, Asia Argento, there's a picture of her lying in bed with this boy who was 17 at the time, and she was 30, late 30s, something like that. Um, but yeah, and you know, if the some messages, some messages, first, that'd be fucking Satanism incarnate. But some uh, messages, like text messages, came out recently from her that um, <laughs> apparently the boy first forced himself upon her, and uh, right. that she was kind of uh, yeah, not that... not a party. Like she she wasn't a part of it. Right, so she that's was, why you took that's, a photograph of yourself lying in bed with him. Yeah, but and, then they and also paid. paid 
Yeah, they paid him three hundred eighty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. You, 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 you came on to me and forced yourself on me. Here, here's money so you don't talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah that's that. Of- that's how it works, right? Fucking <laughs> dumb, dumb, stupid head. <laughs> you stupid. Um, what are you stupid? But um, it, it just. Yeah, I don't it, know. It really, I think... it, it was it was a city and a business that's just been. I think the just time is built come to... up on secrets and perverted I think sex, is... and it's coming to an end. I think the time has come to decentralize Hollywood because monopolies are never good for any business. Any honest businessman will tell you that a certain amount of competition is healthy for business because then the consumer has more options and also it's it makes you strive to to always improve because you have to be in competition when you're the only game in town you can do whatever the fuck you want if we had a bunch of smaller hollywoods scattered around the world then i mean yeah there's stuff there's like one in Bo- Georgia, there's, I think now. there's there's stuff like bollywood which is huge in india and that area and you know japan and europe have their film industries but i'm talking like if we totally decentralized hollywood and had film production areas there 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 all around a the lot world of that happening I, right now i guarantee you we would see a quality increase in the amount of of movies well but you, you know what? like to do a lot of filming in like canada now but it's still through hollywood mm mm-hmm. mhm yeah, because I know Georgia has a film industry that's starting down there. But you know, this is where this is where uh, late stage capitalism leads us. Because you know, uh, the only like cell phone service providers I can even choose from are like three: AT and T, Sprint, and Verizon. Canada by one internet. Yeah, see, internet, I, I don't dis- like one company. Yeah, I don't disagree with that because we need we need competition. But at the same time, you know, the the idiot child solution is always. Oh, businesses have monopoly and everything. Let's make it so the government has is the only thing that has a monopoly. It's like no shithead. We need to make it so that there's more we need competition within business. Let... The solution is to not replace one monopoly <laughs> with another fucking monopoly. Yeah, we need to not let like these giant mergers, like these billion dollar mergers, happen. Right, but the reason I bring that up is because people who often I'm not accusing you of this, but people who often complain about late stage capitalism the next sentence out of the, out of their mouth is this is why we need communism i don't think it's like if anyone ever says we need communism they're a fucking they're, idiot, they're an idiot. Mm. because um, like we need a little bit of socialism in my opinion but communism now yeah i was gonna say well that, that's but... it's like i said that's replacing one monopoly with another it's like instead of having one big business control everything you just have the government control everything well the fuck is that any different but I, I think in that sense it's getting worse, right? Because now you have Disney owning Marvel. And yeah, that's what I'm talking Fox about. Oh, dude, and... yeah, dude. With Di- with with Disney buying Fox, like this is it's, like yeah, the it's amount of shit they insane. It's the, one the, the, company the owning so many like, like forms of media. The government should have never let that happen, in my opinion. Like they should have like, stepped in and been like, uh, no. Yeah, but when, when when Disney like, is paying you off, like. Oh, I, I know why checks, they let right? it happen. I'm just saying that it shouldn't have happened. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, it's uh, and, uh, fucked. They know how to play the game. All you got to do is have some co-branded shit now where, you know, in Wreck-It Ralph 2, you have all the Disney princesses snarking about how they don't need no man, and everybody just applauds for more. It's not even that. They even have, like... <laughs> They even have Marvel like spoiler or not spoilers, but they have like Marvel uh can't think of the word. What uh Stanley does in all of his movies. Cameos. Cameos. Yeah, fucking cameo because since Disney owns literally everything. Yeah. They just have cameos from literally everywhere. Everything. Yeah. Oh the, the new the new Pocahontas movie in that frame, you can see uh, the Terminator. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Best movie Guys, ever. Did you hear the... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, did you hear in uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kid 7, there's going to be an Easter egg where they shrink down Donald Trump, and he's just a tiny little pile of hair, and then he goes, I am Voldemort, and phases out of existence. 
uh, they got they, 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 they got a crossover. It's the biggest, most ambitious crossover. It's, it's Donald Duck, Daffy Duck, and, and, and Howard the Duck in the same movie. <laughs> <laughs> like when when will it end? Those are fucking idiots. Well, when, when will it end? And, and then the up. mighty ducks burst through the door, and they're like, "How come we weren't invited?" <laughs> no, no, that's no, that's that's the intro or the 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 end end credit scene for the sequel. It's just like yeah, yeah. they they bust through the door. Need any more ducks? Emilio, <laughs> <laughs> duck somewhere in here, also. <laughs> yeah, you guys already say Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck, oh, Duck talk. Man, Duck Man. I wonder if I wonder if they own Duck Man now. I don't know who owns Duck Man. I think that was Fox, right? Daffy Duck? Are Daffy Duck and Donald Duck owned by the same people now? No, Warner I Warner still... Brothers is Daffy Duck? I still Duck? think Warner Brothers oh, is okay. their own thing. Yeah. But sooner or later it'll happen. Yeah, of course. Disney's going <laughs> to own everything. Dude, this means technically now Disney owns The Simpsons, I think. Oh, oh, great. Um, oh yeah, they would, huh? Oh god, there's Dude, gonna the be Simpsons so are gonna get so much many better. hilarious cross. They're gonna be so much Simpsons. better. They're gonna have uh, Iron Man and Dora the Explorer in there. Ho Homer, Homer, Homer's Iron Man. Ho Homer's Iron Man in this episode. It's funny. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, 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 Tony yeah, I think Stark, he'd be more like Hulk or something. Tony Stark right. shows up at his door, and there he's like, "You gotta wear the the suit." I, I oh dude, they're gonna make a Marvel episode where they're the superheroes. Yeah, like Bart will be. Yeah. Well, Bart Bart can be Dad. They're gonna be the Incredibles. Bart will be Dash. Oh, yeah. Little girl will be Jack. Jack, Violet, Incredible, and Elastigirl. And then we they'll have need, the one black we person play need Frozo. More Jack, Jack in our lives. I'm, I don't need to disagree with that one though. <laughs> I'm like all for that one. <laughs> Have you seen the new Incredibles? No, I haven't. But it is so fucking good. I just man. remember people talking about Jack Jack too much. Dude, Jack Jack, Jack Jack has like a five minute scene in that film where he's doing something, and it is fucking amazing. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't want to spoil anything. But holy shit! Once you see it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It is hashtag great. spoilers. Garrett pissed himself in enjoyment. Uh yeah, I did. Yeah, I had to. I had to go there with a. Hu uh, an adult diaper on. I almost said human diaper. <laughs> <laughs> human diaper. <laughs> yeah, I had to go with an adult diaper because it was just so great. Garrett, I'm trying to be more like uh, Psycho Pebbles. Psychic Pebbles? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I think he's funny. But like... Were you picking up I, on, I don't... on that? Um, I don't really listen to him a lot, oh. so I haven't watched any of the new Oni plays. I, I should. I'm just giving them a bad rap because it's not Julian and Ding Dong, and I need to get over the Julian no, and Ding Dong it, thing. No, it's, it's still but, good. I, I really yeah, like Psycho. Yeah, I'm sure and, it is. Lyle. Because Zach, Psychic Pebbles, is like, he's fucking hilarious. He's so fucking funny. Like, the stuff I've listened to, he's hilarious. I just haven't gone and listened to any of their Oni plays. Yeah. Nah, you should. Hey, Ding Dong, suck my Ding Dong. <laughs> oh, you think that's you think that's so what, funny. what his name meant? It's like a penis. Probably. <laughs> Only please. You guys love that shit. It's a good show. I mean it is a good show. It was a good show. Sorry, Eric, we don't all sit around and look at the My Little Pony 4 chan all day. Yeah. We, we have different yeah, interests. That's what I do. Eric, we have different interests. We have Sorry, we don't jerk it to Rule 34 My Little Pony MLP. Um, I only did that once on a dare. Viewers, Eric, <laughs> Eric. <laughs> 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 Eric, Eric posts the most alt right things on Facebook. It's yeah, actually he's like, all day, all day. He's, he's all kind of a Nazi. Kind of. That's all I do. <laughs> he's basically Trump Jr. He's, basically, he's 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 Cheeto Cheeto hands. <laughs> Cheeto hands, baby Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Pre pre we make the other one we always say President Blump. <laughs> Blorm. Drump. It's Drump. I know it's Drump, but like people kept getting more and more ridiculous with it. So Look like, at him. I He's just, just like this fat, stupid, ugly man. I, I hate him. I like personally my favorite is Bitchy Rich. 
That one's a bit more clever, at least, than the other ones I see. Yeah, that one's at least, like, someone thought about that. Just going going President President Dormf. It's just baby humor. Yeah. Yeah. He's a stupid poop head. I don't like him. I want to bomb a bag. (laughs) I need my... big stupid doo-doo head. I need my, my, my comfort blanket Obama bag, please. Save me, like, Daddy. I started watching I just am- um, Sacha Baron Cohen's show. This no, is I, I haven't. I need to. I just imagine some like or who is um, America? Whatever it's called. I just imagine some like twenty-year-old, twenty-nine-year-old, premature, balding bug man with his big glasses, wearing a onesie, being cuddled by Obama like a fucking infant. Okay, if that's what you okay, imagine, so my- you need to watch Sacha Baron Cohen's show because, like, I feel like <laughs> that's one of the characters he plays. One of the characters he plays is who you're fucking describing. That's so him. funny. <laughs> No, I okay, but so so my whole theory with everyone being so upset over President Obama getting out of power or the House or whatever. Why couldn't he just be dictator for a long time? Now, him not being president. president like? Yes. I think it's because a lot of these people grew up really only knowing Obama as president. Yeah, and you always heard about Bush being a, a total idiot. Yeah, so like they're, they're little baby millennials that need four-day school weeks because school is hard, and they don't like change. Um, to be fair, and... I think scientists have come out. like There have been studies and said four-day school weeks. No, I'm thinking work weeks. Never mind. Presid- four-day work weeks would be better. And, and so, so President Obama's gone, and you're scared, but like... It, did the end of also, the world happen? No. Also, anyone notice how like Bush basically just fell off the face of the earth after the Poncho incident? Yeah, he hasn't made an appearance lately. Poncho. Oh, he at the inauguration. Yeah, yeah, he couldn't get it on right. <laughs> <laughs> Classic character in American history, man. Bush yeah. was fucking hilarious. Like when, that... people, like when people used to make fun of him, it was actually funny because, like, I don't know, yeah. somehow because he was like easy it, to make. Fun it didn't of feel and... like the world was on the the brink. Remember um, when that guy threw? Yeah, a shoe but I mean, at him? that's yeah, that was yeah. fucking hilarious. And another but... thing with President Trump, he dodged was... it though. Like that was impressive. For like, yeah, yeah. He, he was he was pretty quick on the reflexes. For so long, like every website, like Newgrounds and Addicting Games and everything, it was like every game had like President uh, Bush in it. Do you remember Dancing Bush on Mini Clip? Yeah, I remember so many games like where you would play as Bush and be like, "Oh, terrorists of Osama bin Laden's raided the White House. You gotta find your way out." And yeah. like Condoleezza Rice appear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you have to like favorite. click your way out of the White House. So there's like yeah. President Bush like tower defense for yeah. some reason. Like like the for some reason he was just everywhere. There's that one comedian, uh, Frank Caliendo, who's an impressionist, and he used to do this like dead on impression of Bush. And my favorite joke about him, he w- he would go like. He'd go like, he's the only president who can answer a question like a 17-year-old girl. And then he just puts his hand up and he's like, whatever. And it's like, yeah, that's literally how he was. Well, yeah, but now we have Alec Baldwin doing his amazing impersonation of Trump. He, 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 I've never seen it, to be honest. Was it, Al- was it Alec Baldwin? Or am I just yes. being a dumb? Yeah, it just sounds like something. He, he brought it out like, of retirement. And it's hilarious. But yeah, he's um, really sticking it to President Blump. Blump. Impressionists impress me so much. Like how they can, they get the voice, they get yeah. like the cadence, they get no, like the, personality. The good, ones, the good ones are really fucking good. Like that guy Frank Caliendo, he does a couple. He did he did a really good Bush, really did really good Clinton, and a really good John Madden. Yeah, and it was like fucking like, especially with Madden. He oh, even had those like John best. Madden things are so fucking funny. Dude. I feel like whenever I watch a Let's Play and they do Obama, they always get Obama pretty fucking close. Oh, like super like, mega, um, like Matt Watson. Yeah, yeah Matt yeah. and Aaron. Aaron can do Obama really well too. Yeah, and it's just it's always fucking hilarious. But um, anyway. 
Are we uh, done with this uh, yeah, I think twenty we're... minute tangent? Yeah, I think we're done with this podcast. This one was really oh really weird. holy shit. This we didn't talk about tense. anything. I know we're at we're at fifty minutes. Uh, let me look at any something on here because there's some I really want to talk about. We should have skipped the Pennsylvania priests and Asia Argento for the other side. No, Asia Asia Argento was good. Okay, let's talk about Jack's Bulls. Let's talk about that. I have no idea I guess. what that is. Well, that's, See, that, that could be a good so, 10, ten minutes. Eric, you're gonna like this. Eric is gonna like this. Garrett's gonna explain it, and Eric, you are yeah. going to like this. So, Jack in the Box did. Um, a lot of people are saying launched one of the most tone deaf ads of the Me it's Too era. It's unacceptable. It's disgusting, and it's not and... funny, and it's perverted, and I don't like it. I only like perversion yeah. when my favorite celebrities do it, and that's okay because I like them because they're adorable. Yeah, Eric, uh, if you want to watch the video, it's in the link I just posted. But anyway, yeah, it's just um, Jack in the Box going around saying, uh, only we have the guts to do our our food in bulls. It's like, Jack's got nice bulls. You got some pretty nice bulls there, Jack. So it's and like teriyaki, then, like rice and meat. Yeah. Bowls. Okay. And then okay. And they're just basically playing off the pun of bulls to balls. And, and like he's saying, like oh, he's like nice holding balls. two bowls really close. And he's like, yeah. look at my and bowls. Even, even in some that he's not, like he has a he has a billboard saying only Jack has the bowls or shit like that. It's it's funny, like, but and then like there's other slogans where it's like taste my bowls, get your hands on my bowls, like yeah. And people are no okay wait 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 mad. But the end of the ad, they even have. A lawyer oh, yeah, sit sorry. down the with ad, Jack. Yeah. The lawyer is like, um, we don't feel comfortable with you uh, saying this, Jack. And Jack's like, oh, can I say, uh, taste my bowls? And he's like, no. Can uh, I say, get your hands on my bowls? No. Can I say, uh, we have bowls or something like that? And this is no, basically. Yeah, and and they're, they're playing off the idea that, oh, people this is, were like, going to be upset edgy. about it. Yeah. So. Like they they knew this was gonna happen, yeah. and people are still that kind of stuff. Th- just people just me... fall into it, and they're crying about it. Yeah, it's so fucking dumb. They they called they they called it like they're like oh people are gonna be mad at us. Just watch, and yeah. yes, they're mad at you. Like uh, it just makes me glad that my workplace didn't hire any SJWs. <laughs> Because holy fuck. Like, I mean, I think everybody realizes that there's certain lines you don't cross at work, especially. Um, but the idea that, like, we have to live in this sanitized environment where adults can't make uh, a moderately risque joke because then that's going to cause every woman in-, in earshot to have a rape flashback or something like that. Uh, yeah, that's fucking stupid. It is stupid. Yeah, because, I mean, they're saying that this is, like, sexual harassment in the workplace Shut because people are, gonna, people are going to start saying this now. And it's just oh, like, oh, oh, so quoting a commercial. Hey, Susan, look at this bowl. <laughs> like, yeah, I remember when I was wait, 19. You're going to fucking cry I, over that? I remember when I was 19 and working in a, in the kitchen of a restaurant and this uh, the other uh, dishwasher for a while was a mid-30s lady from, like, Brazil or something like that. And she would sometimes jokingly slap my ass and, like... Uh, yeah, you were I guess sexually assaulted. I, I was raped. Eric. Yeah, I was raped. Yeah, I was literally raped. How about the guy that anytime he's making calamari, he pushes it in my face, and he's like, "What does that smell like? What does that smell like, Mike?" <laughs> you, just, that guy's it's just pussy. Dumb. It's pussy. Are assaulted. <laughs> Is that getting you assaulted? Are a victim. I'm, not, I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna carry bowls around at work. Coward women. I'm gonna I'm gonna carry bowls around work and be like, "Hey, ladies, like my bowls." And they're gonna be like, Michael, this you is are what they're talking about. You are Mike. a pervert and a rapist, Michael. Yeah. Yes, all men. Yeah, they just a lot of these places are just categorizing it as, uh, oh, it's a boys' club. They're just doing bro things. But um, no, it's just comedy. It's a, just like a, we, it's not a pun, a but it's just a play on words and. Uh, if you're offended over a Jack in the Box commercial, uh, you're a crybaby millennial, and you need to go to your safe space with your puppy, your healing puppy, because you're a little <laughs> bitch. And enjoy your four day weeks of school, because that's a thing that they're crying for now. 
Don't don't you hate how too how anytime somebody expresses frustration with something ridiculous now, they try to turn it back around on you and be like, Oh, you need a safe space, don't you? It's like, yeah, like uh getting annoyed at like um you know, this retarded crap is the exact same thing as people who need a fucking room built for them with coloring books in a fucking university. Yeah. Yeah. Um <laughs> One final um, thing I want to talk about before yeah. we end. Might go a little long, but um, it, it's kind of on the same vein as what we just talked about with uh, Jack in the Box. But Cyberpunk 27.7, yeah. 2077 uh, tweeted is like uh, yesterday or something, 21st. Oh, it's so two days ago from when we recorded this anyway. Um, there was a guy who tweeted out, I want more guys, and then tweeted it to Cyberpunk because uh, in the trailer... Apparently there were just lots of females. I, I don't. I don't really know. I didn't really see mm -hmm. it. I guess. I didn't um, see. So, I didn't. I saw men cyber, and women. Yeah, I'm like, ah, eh, whatever. Of robots, but you know. Anyway, Cyberpunk 2077 tweeted out. Did you just assume their gender? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Joking. Oh, they. No, you <laughs> didn't. No. People. People are calling them transphobic now. Ugh. Why? And it's just like no, but like, how is that transphobic? Are you because because like, they're making the, fun of no, but w maybe they weren't making fun of. Maybe they were being fucking serious. Maybe they were mm -hmm. like in this in this dystopian future of twenty seven seven race you know is that's... race or sorry sex isn't a thing anymore. If that's how if I was them, that's how I would handle that. I would act like I was being a hundred percent serious. Yeah. And basically, if you if they did that, they would shame these people into having to apologize. To them. Yeah, because it's like this is what you were you know fighting. What I mean? This is what you were yeah. fighting for. This is why you say things like this. And now we're saying it because in this video game and this fictional universe that we created, you know, sex. Oh is, yeah. If, if sex, yeah, I feel is, like this sex is what you say you are. Whenever you get outraged over something minor like this, it just diminishes what you're trying to do. Well, yeah, that that too. But I feel also like if you if you learn how these people's minds work and it ain't fucking hard, uh, it's easy to, to you like you could play them like a fucking fiddle with something like that. Be like, why are you making light of this? We're we're pointing out to you that in yeah. our future world, you know, gender is such a non issue that, you know, how could you tell what they are just by how they look? Yeah. Uh, why are you attacking us? Oh, are, well, like, are, are, are we not on the same side here? Yeah. That's what you should do, Cyberpunk 2077. Listen to the Neon Nightcast podcast. Yeah, um, do that, Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, and also send us free copies of your game whenever you uh, have it, because we all, well, at least I love your company i have a computer I, I, now, I now fm models i now i now i will not computer. play the witcher 3 the witcher 3 which i must state anytime i bring up the witcher 3 my favorite game of all time because my friend made fun of me for that before so yeah i just gotta say uh witcher 3 greatest game of all time cyberpunk 2077 send us your game i now Do you own, watch i now own a computer strong enough to record <laughs> such game so yeah send me a free copy you do you watch SFM porn of Witcher 3, Garrett? <sighs> SF, what's SFM? It's that program people use to make porn for Eric of, like, Laura Croft but like and Eric, like, and stuff. Why were you <laughs> saying it like that? <laughs> what do you mean? Eric, Garrett, do you, do you watch I don't know, SFM porn? I, I mean, I've seen them plenty. I mean, this doesn't help Listen, us get we all game, look at Reddit. This doesn't help us get We all look at Reddit. We all look at Galbora. We all see the webums of, like, Samus I was Aran. doing a bit. But just to be fair. I am CD also Project doing Red, a bit. Um, I have looked at the females they've made nude. Although I they like, fucking made them nude I like in the game. I like all of the girls from the witcher but i like yennefer the most well you're a fucking dumb piece of shit yo i like the Trust dark hair best. but like yennefer's attitude is just like a bitch well, i never fucking and, play the game i don't Trist know is like a, a lovable a lovable redhead that's also hey i like hot. a challenge you know i haven't seen much witcher stuff but i like uh, that to uh, sundeers of SFM in general, Samus is always good, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. Lately, I've really been digging May from. Uh, <laughs> I was just talking about hentai. Overwatch. Okay, first of all, Eric. First of all, Eric. First of all, Eric. 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 Eric.
Overwatch girls and you're going to talk about May? First of all, yeah. dude, Widowmaker like Mary... and Diva. Okay, I like Diva. <laughs> Diva's hot, but May is like a thick, nerdy chick, and that's hot. Diva, yeah, I, 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 I am I literally Zarya. going. I am. Zarya, li- I am literally going to get Diva tattooed on my right leg. Are you really? Yeah, that's that's who's going to be on my right leg. Over- I, but I, even I have been game. obsessed with Diva since she came out. I remember what she, Overwatch. She, was. she is my desktop background. You don't I'm remember ever. the game. Yeah, when, I when still o- like the character, and I'm going to get her all assed out on my leg. When Overwatch first came out, I didn't know the names of any of the characters, and I'd always say to Mike, I'd be like, I'd be like, you know who's hot? That chick with the paint on her face, and he'd always be like, <laughs> Diva, her name's Diva. Her name's Diva. See, I got I got Princess Garnet from Final Fantasy IX, and then I'm gonna get Diva on my other leg. I'm gonna get um. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Gonna think of something. All right, I guess I guess I guess we could talk call it right. We're just kind of talking about fucking. Yeah, we're just I don't think anyone's listening at this right point. Now. <laughs> uh, yeah, this episode was more of a chill episode. I I thought it was gonna be real spicy, but I, I think it got kind of spicy. I mean, we we kind of all agreed on like the outcomes of shit. Yeah, but I don't uh, think we got fired up on our topics because it was just kind of easy to be like, yeah, that's fucked. She's fucked. Yeah. Eric got fired up. Eric Let always was fired. Tell you, Eric got fired up. <laughs> Eric was mad. <laughs> Listen to Eric's rights. <laughs> uh, I, I love that clapping shit. <laughs> All right, what we'll call it here. Say goodbye, you two. See you next time. Comment See you next time. And Comment. Subscribe to more female YouTube. No, well, we have a female on our thing. So, subscribe to the Neo Nightcast. Comment on the Neo Nightcast. We promote strong women. Check out, check out our other uh, things. What are they called? Playlists. Uh, we have the Movie Club with Friends. Movie Listen, Club. this channel, we we now we're now running Let's Plays. Let's Plays. Movie Club. Movie reviews. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. And podcast. Eric, do we do wanna... a lot of shit for Eric, you guys. You, Eric... So you better fucking subscribe. No, no. Okay. We'll talk to you next time. Okay, bye. bye. See bye. ya.